What we want our students to do with this strategy, the count on or count back strategy, is to rely on their familiarity with the sequence of number names. So in other words, having counted since they were very young children from one, one, two, three, four, five, you know, using Sesame Street's examples or other similar programs, the students should be familiar with the number that comes after, for example, six. If you're counting from six, you could ask students, close your eyes, think of the numbers up to six, don't say anything, what comes after six? You know, that sort of thing. Counting back, same idea, we want the students to think about counting backwards, so they should be familiar with counting forwards and backwards. What comes after nine if we're counting backwards? That sort of idea. Let me uh, just make a point here. We don't want students counting on their fingers, so I would not recommend that you say, look, just show me six fingers and what's one more? The trouble with that is, although it's not a bad idea to think about counting, if they count on their fingers, that can become a habit that is difficult to break, as most habits are. What I would suggest in its place is our friend the 10 frame, which I've talked about in previous videos. So you could, let me quickly put this up here. The students will become familiar with the patterns of the counters in the 10 frame. So if you say, what number is that? They'll, uh, they will quickly say that six. If I put one more, what is it? Now they should be able to recognize it or sabotage it without counting. So they could quickly see. So. Um, all of these questions can be done that way. One plus seven, again using a count on strategy, of course we don't start from one and then count on seven, that defeats the whole purpose of memorizing number facts, but if we start with the seven and count on one. So we want students to recognize that if we're only adding one or two, and I wouldn't go any further than that, then we can use a counting strategy, but if it's the other way around it's still the same number, so there'd need to be some practice in recognizing the turnaround nature of the number facts. The fourth sort is the trickiest. Four takeaway three relies on students knowing that uh, four takeaway one is three or three plus one is four. Or basically what we're looking at here is what's the difference between these two numbers. In the mathematical sense, four and three are next to each other on the number line. They're next to each other if we show them using counters. There are four. How many would we have if we took away three? We're not counting back three this time. We're just saying, what's the difference between that number and that number? So using a number line, using a 10 frame, uh, that can easily be shown. So